Hey boys and girls, I wanted to let you know that I know your teachers from church have been missing you. So this next week, I am going to try to get some video of them sending you some special messages because I think you would enjoy seeing them and I know they'd love to touch base. This past week, I was able to meet up with two of our amazing volunteers who you see often at church. They serve so faithfully and they are wonderful ladies and I was able to sit down with them and they have a special message for you. So here they are. Hello, Grace children. We've really missed you. We're really excited that maybe someday really soon we can come back. And you can't wait to see this room. This room is awesome. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Jenny. I've missed you guys so much. I've gotten to see some of you. I've been busy working, so I haven't really got to have free time like you guys. But I've had fun with those of you that I have seen. Hi boys and girls, I hope you're doing well and having a good summer. I have my girls here to help with the video again this week. I am going to start by playing an animal sound and I want you to guess which animal is making this noise. So just a second here. <laughs> All right, did you guess what that is? What is it, girls? Sheep. A sheep. We're giggling because that second one sounded like he burped. Oh, excuse him. All right, we're gonna play a little sheep game and I'm gonna play a trivia game with you. Trivia means I'm going to ask you some questions and see what you know about sheep. And you try to guess at home what the answers to these questions are. All right, are you ready? The first one is, what is a baby sheep or a child sheep called? Can you show them the picture? What is a child or a baby sheep called? It is called a lamb. Did you get that one right? I bet a lot of you did. This one's tricky. What is a girl adult sheep called? An adult girl sheep is called a ewe. That's kind of a silly name, isn't it? A ewe. All right, Aaron's gonna hold up another picture. What is a boy adult sheep called? And a lot of times they have these horns on them, not always, but a lot of times. What is a boy adult sheep? It's called a ram, a ram. Okay, next question. What is a big group of sheep called? Sheep often stay in big groups when they move from one grassy place to another place to eat grass. There's three words you could use for a group. Let's see if you've guessed any of them. It could be called a herd of sheep, a flock of sheep, or a mob of sheep. It's a lot of sheep in that picture, isn't it? All right, next question. Well, first, I forgot, I have to tell you. Sheep are used for a few things. Do you know anything that we get from sheep that we can use? We can use the wool from their bodies, right? Their fur, their wool is a soft, fuzzy material that sometimes is used to make sweaters and things like that. We can get meat from sheep. And did you know you can get milk from sheep that sometimes is used to make dairy products such as cheese? All right. Probably the most common that you probably heard of is the wool. Maybe you've been able to feel the soft wool on a sheep. All right, let's show them this picture. Here's my next question for you. Do you know what it's called when the farmer or another worker is cutting off the wool? It's not called cutting off. There's a special word for it. Do you know what that is? It's called shearing. He is shearing the wool. Look how thick that is off the sheep's body so that it can be used to make things. And I bet the sheep gets really hot with all that wool. So in the summer, that helps them feel cool too. They don't shed like some other animals. So the farmer's helping them out there. All right. The next question, last question for right now is, what is the person called who takes care of sheep? What is that person called? A shepherd, a shepherd. And this is a young person taking care of sheep, right? And because we learned about David in the Bible was a shepherd boy. He took care of lots of sheep. I want you to think about what the job of a shepherd is. A shepherd protects the sheep from danger, 
right? If animals would try to attack them, they would take care of them and protect them. They also help them find food. So they might be eating in one grassy area. They like to eat grass and vegetation. And maybe if that is not very, um, there's not a lot right there, the shepherd will help them move to a new area to find better food. So a shepherd really protects the sheep and takes care of them. All right, we learned about David as a shepherd boy, but we've been learning over the last few weeks that David is now a king, right? We learned about last week how he sinned and he was so sorry and he repented and God forgave him because David was still human, right? No matter what position we are in, we are all sinners. But David was a king after God's own heart and that means that he tried his best to obey God and loved him. All right, today your story is about the book of Psalms. And Psalms is right in the middle of the whole Bible, but it's 150 Psalms that David wrote. And David wrote songs and poems and um, cried out to God. Sometimes he was sorry or he was sad and he would write that. Or sometimes he was rejoicing and he was happy and he wrote songs about that. So today you're going to learn Psalm 23, which is one of the most famous Psalms. You may have heard it, but David talks about how the Lord is like our shepherd. It's like, a, he's like a shepherd because what does God do for us? He protects us. He takes care of us. He brings us peace. He leads us sometimes to where things might be better for us, or maybe he leads us through something hard, but he takes care of us all the time. So in our Psalm today, you're going to hear in the story video about how David wrote a song about how the Lord is our shepherd, because that's what David knew. He knew what it was like to be a shepherd, and he saw how God is like that to us. We are like his sheep. Sometimes we need direction. Sometimes we need protection. And God is like our shepherd who never leaves us and never forsakes us and always watches over us and takes care of us. I hope that you boys and girls always remember that. Remember that you are loved, that I love you, that I miss you, and most importantly, that God loves you and he is taking care of you. I hope to see you all soon and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye. Hello friends, I'm Megan and this is Jessie. Hi. Look, Megan, I brought my sisters, Lynn Lovey, for today's Bible story, just like you asked me to. <laughs> Thank you, Jessie. Why did you need a Lynn Lovey for today's Bible story? <laughs> well, our Bible story is about a song David wrote to praise God. In the song, he said that God is like a shepherd and we are like his sheep. Huh? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> well, like a shepherd cares for his sheep, God cares for us. He gives us everything we need. He's with us everywhere we go, and he keeps us safe. Oh, wow. God really does do all those things. <laughs> yep. Listen to our Bible story to hear what David had to say about God's care for us. In Bible times, people wrote songs called Psalms to praise God. David loved God very much, and he wrote many of the songs in the Bible. Before David was a king, he was a shepherd. He fought off lions and bears to keep the sheep safe. David thought that God is like a shepherd. This is a song that David wrote. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me life and he leads me along the right paths for his glory. For when I go through the darkest valley, I do not fear danger, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You get a meal ready for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head, my cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will live in the Lord's house forever.
Jesus is the Good Shepherd. He gave up His life to save us from sin. Because of Jesus, we have hope that one day we will live with God forever.